Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Chaos Creates. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm sharing a layout for Scrap the Boys for the month of October. And this month's challenge is the Sewing on a Layout Challenge. Now, I love to stitch on my layouts. So I'm just going ahead and showing you here this chain link stitch that I've completed. Now, this is using a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. And I will leave a link below um, to that cut file. And I'm scrapping this gorgeous picture of my son Sebastian. Uh, this was footy colors day. I'm going to go ahead and use these Lindy's Magicals. These are the specific um, Natalie May Magicals, um, her exclusive kind of set, and I'm pairing that with the No Limits collection. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, move my photo away because I'm going to get pretty messy. Now this is very messy for me, so I am not used to using um, this type of mixed media on my scrapbook pages. Um, I do have quite a few magicals and I have actually just purchased some more but I hadn't really used them much and so yeah these were the, this was the first time I'd really um use these um use these magicals so yeah I was really keen to get into it so I'm going to go ahead and just use some packaging so do the packaging technique on to this now I had stitched that um uh that in white so I was using the color to kind of make those stars pop out more. Um, now I, I won't, yeah, I'll leave a link to this product, but I, I won't go through each individual color because I'm not sure. But this, this looks very dark here, but it does dry a bit more of a turquoise color. You would have seen before I used that sort of um, rainbow striped paper as my inspiration. So I'm using that and those, these colors match in perfectly with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the yellow. And I'm using this little... Um, what is this called? I can't remember. Just these little um, dobbers, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called. I will look up the name. Um, but yeah, to just add some water onto that. And um, I find this is the best way um, with the magicals because if you do use a spray, it kind of sprays the powder everywhere. So um, yeah, I tend to use that. So I'm adding the turquoise, the yellow, the orange, I've got some red and some blue to add. Now these are the perfect colors to go with this collection. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. And this is where I go a little bit oh, actually crazy. Um, so there was a little bit too much red. Um, and then you'll see when I add the blue on top, it's just a little too much, but that's okay. You know, I, I'm happy with the end result, but yeah, I do sort of drop a fair bit of that red in that spot, but you know, my photo is going to go somewhere there. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, now I'm going to add the blue and I'm just making sure I'm putting my lids straight back on this because these are dye based inks or, you know, dye based powders. So, you know, they do stain um, quite a lot. Like my fingers were quite stained after creating this layout. Um, and so, yeah, I do pour a bit of that off, but it, do, it does just go quite on top of that red. And so it makes a bit of a purpley, muddy color. But anyway, um, you'll see what I do later to cover it up a little bit. I have just put a little bit of those colors into this tray and just adding a bit of water um, just to make some splatters. And I do, I do use the same brush. So I have to go in and, you know, um, put a little bit more in. I had just trialed these colors before I created this layout. And that was the first time I'd actually opened this package of um, Magical. So it was good to give them a go. Are you doing any mixed media at the moment? I feel like, yeah, for me, this is quite adventurous. Um, I tend to use Distress Oxides on my scrapbook pages, but yeah, this was quite adventurous. And to be honest, I really love doing it. Um, you know, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it in the end. So I'm glad I um, went ahead and did it. And as you can see, there's the sort of finished, um, yeah, dried, uh, that took a bit to dry so I did let it dry naturally now I'm just going to go ahead and rough up the edges I have trimmed the white cardstock down a little bit just so that I could mat it on this striped pattern paper I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that but you know once I had it there as inspiration I thought it looked really good so I'm going to go ahead and stick it down so as you can see with the stitching, I have added some washi tape to kind of keep it in place. And I did go in and put some um, some wet adhesive behind that as well to make sure it all stayed in place. 
Um, yeah, if you want to see more on how to actually stitch, I will link a video below, uh, oh, sorry, up in the eye, um, so that you can see me doing some stitching. But yeah, like I said before, this is, I've used a chain stitch to do this. And with the cut file, it's already sort of pierced those holes. It took me a little bit of time, maybe, um, you know, sitting there watching TV one night, one evening. Um, so it took a little bit of time, but I really love the effect. So now I'm just going through and seeing what um, from the A5 paper stack, what papers I can use to map my photo with. And there's such beautiful papers in this collection. So I did decide to use this sort of darker blue to start with to make that photo really stand off the page. And then I'm going, oh, I had a bit of trouble with my ATG. So sorry about that cutting out a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and mat it with this yellow. And I love how that looks. Um, yeah, I feel like my photo really stands out there. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and place my photo somewhere in the middle so it covers up that big sort of red spotch. Um, and now I'm just going to see what I can embellish with. I have probably filtered down the embellishments a little bit. Now I knew I ne needed to cover up a little bit of that, um, yeah, sort of mixed in colour. And so I'm using that star to do that. Uh, and I'm just working through. I really like this epic. Um, it doesn't necessarily fit in with my overall title, uh, but I thought I thought it was good all the same. So I go ahead and um, make my title here. These are Pink Fresh Studio little um, thickers. Um, they work really well on this page. So I'm going to title this Footy Colors Day because this was Seb off to his Footy Colors Day. Now um, we live in Victoria. So, um, and people that know AFL will know that this, uh, you know, Seb is is barracking here for Brisbane. Um, that is because his cousin plays for Brisbane. So um, he did used to go for a Victorian based team, but now, um, you know, now with his cousin, you know, playing for Brisbane, we have to go for Brisbane. Um, and so Seb is quite often the only um, kid at his um, at. AFL wearing Brisbane colours, you know, not many people barrack for Brisbane, although it used to be Fitzroy. So, you know, there's the Victorian connection. Um, for those that live in Australia will understand. Um, and yeah, so, you know, he kind of stands out, but he, he, he loves it. He gets right involved and he's got some tattoos on his face and he's got a big um, footy balloon. Uh, so this was right before school holidays and then the AFL grand final was coming up. So on this day, we actually went to the football as well. So it was super fun. Unfortunately, Brisbane lost and didn't make it to the grand final, but they'd played really well all season. So while I've been rambling on, I, you know, I have just been putting down some embellishments. So I've put down um, a banner in in the top left corner that says you you're the best um just adding a couple of those sort of tickets and tabs on the side of my photo i'm just going to go ahead and stick my photo down now i don't think i make you watch all of this because i did struggle a little bit you know putting the putting the title down straight um, i've got a banner there that says let's go and the other one down the bottom says born to be awesome and so I'm just going to go ahead and stick some of these down with wet adhesive. So there you go. I'm just covering up a little bit of that sort of splotched area. I'm going to go ahead and use um, some foam squares to pop up that banner piece as well. I thought it needed a little bit of lift. And I am putting on some um, wet adhesive because it's sticking onto that, um, you know, mixed media in the background. So I have placed down my um, my title there, Footy Colours Day, and stuck down that chipboard piece which says Born to be Awesome. I'm just going through seeing what else I can make work and I find this other piece that says just be yourself and I love that and yeah now I'm going to stick down that epic and so they're chipboard pieces and yeah so while I'm doing that I will let you know that I've left links below to the scrap the boys blog post where you'll see all the DT um, layouts so go ahead and check that out as well as a link to the Facebook group where you can go ahead and enter the challenge for this month so I hope you enjoy um stitching as well so there's a multitude of things you could do for stitching you know you can hand stitch like I have you can um 
machine stitch on your layout. You can do some faux stitching, like there's no rules, um, or use an embellishment that has stitching already on it. So as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit more to that bottom left-hand cluster near the photo. I've added a star behind. I'm going to add another star here. Um, I just felt like it was looking a bit empty on that side, and I needed to fill in a little bit of that sort of empty space. And yeah, so I'm sticking that down. I'm sticking things that down as I'm going because I don't really want um, to have to come back in later. I don't want it to move too much. So I'm adding a couple of um, tiny words here that says 100% authentic. And now I'm going to come in and add some little sprinkles. Oh, not before I add this to be able to add the date. Um, so that little piece, that sticker piece of across the side. So I'm adding a couple of stars and then I guess they're planets um, from this little puffy stickers. I bought two packets of these because I knew that I would need them. Um, and I'm adding this cool kid. And yeah, I'm just going to stick those down and then I will probably add some gold uh, sprinkly bits. Um, and that is almost it for my layout. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm just still checking out what else I can make work. Oh, I did add that other tiny word sticker that says extraordinary down the bottom. Um, yeah, so then I feel like I need to add a little bit more. So maybe some of those, um, oh yeah, circular elements. So I'm adding those little um, planets, I guess they are, sprinkling them around. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Like I said, I will, um, yeah, if you want to see more around how to actually do some of the stitching, um, go and check out that video. And I hope you enjoy checking out the other design team layouts. And please make sure you enter. It's such a fun um, challenge this month. So go ahead and check out the Facebook group to be able to enter the challenge. And that is it for my final layout. So thank you once again for joining me. Bye. Mm -hmm.